Let's do that thing that we do so well. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, in the bottom left-hand side of this Deadwing map upon which we lay our scene, playing for Team Swan. It's Heartbeat. And his opponents on the other side of the map. Also playing for Team Swan, it's John Vander. And I did not see what league these players are because it didn't actually show me when the game was being loaded. So apologies for that. So... We're going to see a clan versus clan, and again, we know this means shenanigans because hey, why not? Shenanigans are pretty good. Um, oh well. Right, we're having camera related issues, but hopefully that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Ooh, ten pool, ten pool. You're my ten pool, and baby, you just turn me ool? That doesn't make any sense. What the hell's that all about? But the Temple is real. Temple gas, so presumably Temple speed. Against someone who cares not for these things. And it's just like, I'm just going to make stuff. I have a feeling we might be about to see why the Queens are OP. It turns out, pretty good stuff. By the way, I just want to say, if you haven't pressed the follow button already, please do. And if you haven't pressed the subscribe button, YouTube, please also do that. The big problem we see here for our purple zerg is the fact that his opponent's pool is done and he actually doesn't know where he is yet he knows where he isn't um oh wow this must be an old one because this must have been before they changed the map such that you couldn't have horizontal spawns on this map because in theory if you're playing as a, against a terran and you take this as your third they can put tanks here and shell your mineral line so this is a really quite old replay now back when from uh, deadwing before it was basically changed so that this sort of spawning position was literally impossible and apparently TJB is Platt versus... Apparently TJB is in the chat saying, I am Heartbeat, and this is Platt versus Platt. Thank you for that, TJB. Thank you. But yes, when was this, when was this made? Because, like, seriously, it's, it feels quite old. Anyway. Old, anyway, for last season. So, Heartbeat scouting sees no base... And unfortunately, I think Heartbeat scouted cross first, so literally has the worst time trying to find. Actually, no, Heartbeat sees the um, sees the overlord there, and therefore would definitely know now. The base is here. And he's going to scout it with the Ling, maybe with the drone rather. The base is going down for John Vandar, and John Vandar not actually pressing the advantage that he would have had had he actually just put down, a, had he known where his opponent was. He's actually got slightly fewer drones at this stage. He's got faster queens, but. I'm not certain that was worth if I'm brutally honest. Speed, however, is going to be up soon. And Heartbeat has seen what he has seen and knows roughly what the timing was. Beginning of Season 3, 2014. Thank you, TJB. That was when this map was. And, oh, what? What? Okay, proxy hatch. Taking your opponent's third instead of yours. Y you hit a guy with glasses. Well played. The thing is, these links should see it. Surely they'll see that. Surely they'll see that! Oh, oh my god. I I don't even. I literally don't even. Like so many other ways in which I do not even. And John Vandar is now potentially in a position to do quite a lot of serious damage. There are two queens in the main though. So he, unless he wants to just sit there and take out this hatch here. Oh, the hatch was cancelled. Can The queen's now having to take on two queens taking on four lings. Uh, when I say four, I mean six, but still, you know, eh, it's pretty good for the queens, pretty good bad for the lings. They don't want to be doing that. And none of them make it out alive, which basically means that the third base is going to be up and flourishing for our non-purple zerg. For a light blue zerg. That said, maybe you can cancel the third. Maybe you can cancel it. There we go. Cancel the third. Now the lings on the inside outnumber the lings on the outside. They haven't got speed yet, which means that the links on the outside can get a favourable engagement every so often, but mm, I don't think it's going to matter that much, and I feel like I'd like to see. The Queens are probably going to move up to this ramp and just sit on it shooting any links that come through, and that's actually going to be quite difficult to deal with. Ah, there we go. The Queens need to be a little bit careful, though. If they get surrounded, they could be in serious pain. But, nope. Looks like favourable engagement for the inside links, even though they haven't got speed yet. But that's what happens when you have queens back up. The Ling's now pushing out. I would very much like to see this third taken again. There was obviously a plan involving taking this third, so why not? That said, these Ling's are dead. Yeah. 
Heartbeat lost a couple there. Again, I'm not entirely certain why the um, why the third was taken over here, but hey, if it were, oh, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, heartbeat? What are you doing? What is this heartbeat? Is it going to involve some transfusers? No, it's not actually. Oh snap! Oh snap! The transfusers need to be real. The transfusers are real. And they're just going to run past because they can. I think there's, there's, there's nothing here to defend. I mean, he's going to run straight into absolutely nothing. And potentially kill off some workers in the main. The drones have been pulled. The boys have been pulled. The milkshake is real. I repeat, the milkshake is real. The, the queens are not retreating. The queens are pushing forwards. Cutting off any means of reinforcing this attack. And actually, if the boys get pulled now, this could be really painful for uh, John Manda. Heartbeat has more workers by a long, 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 long way. So, if the boys are on their way, the milkshake has definitely been deployed. I repeat, the milkshake is real. Um, and yeah, John Vandal's just like not realizing what's happening here. Especially because these links might get taken out by drones who can mineral walk away from them if they get too low on health. Or they could just kill the drones. I'm done with it. Actually, it would be good to have a spine crawler. Spine crawler would be a good choice at this point. But again, all of the links that are going through here are super damaged because, yeah, it turns out that the the army that's, that's go, that they're going past is taking chunks out of them before they get through. Which is why these drones are actually doing much better than they otherwise would do, but they're all going to die now. I'm not sure I like this queen push though because at this stage there is nothing to stop the massive supply. Well, the link count in. Oh, the queen's out. Will that be enough links to kill the queen? Why are you pulling back, Heartbeat? What's going on? Oh, right, the queens are in the base. The queens are in your face. Then now this, this base is just being attacked. But yeah, this is a really nice attack, actually. And this is going to be swapping... A, sw uh, not even swapping. This is, this is basically going to be a couple of links getting eaten by whatever pops out next. Wow. Such attack. The thing is, the, the screens transfusing each other means that they're basically unkillable by conventional weapons. So even if somehow the workers are pulled back, and this base is going to go down to queens and nothing else, I'm impressed. I'm genuinely astonished. The workers are going to go and try and save their home base. The only thing that's really annoying here is the queens having to fight up against bruising. So it costs them a transfuse, but again, like this is just a transfuse thing. It's a transfuse game. It's whack-a-mole, but the other way around. Just trying to keep the queens that are alive. Oh, the transfuse did not happen. Somehow his attention must have been elsewhere, but this is the point. The drone queens up is still over 9,000. And in they go. They're just going to mosey on past. Queen versus queen always ends in a queen victory, but the ones with a massive amount of transfuse will do better. Oh, it's an Evo chain, but not a, not a spine crawler, and the transfuse is still going to need to be real. No, it's still messed down. Bit of this micro there. That queen needs to be kept alive by transfusers until somehow it can be saved. Because these forces attacking it are not actually that numerous anymore, and the queens on the inside are now outnumbered by the queens on the outside. What in the hell is this madness? Heartbeat, what are you doing? This 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 is I don't even what the hell. I mean, the number it basically comes down to transfuse numbers at this point. The boys have been pulled on the other side, but at this stage that's twelve boys versus four queens. And the limbs are not doing an awful lot to help. The transfusers are real though. I mean, seriously, the transfusers are so good. The thing here to do is to attack both queens at once, force them to do multitasking. And there's no queen nearby, so the transfusers are not going to happen. Oh, snap. This means that these spine crawlers are also not going to finish. I have to admit, I would not have put the spine crawlers next to the... Oh, next to the queens, because it means that you can't do anything with them. That's better. Putting the spine crawler up a little bit way away. The thing is, there's too many queens in this main. There's too many queens. Flying crawler trying to root itself in a good position. 14 lings on the way out now. Which means that this queen might actually be able to do some serious damage and the spine crawlers are going to be able to do something, but this de the damage is almost all done. And the overlords are in a bad position there. Yep, just walk the queens away. Bit of a transfuse. And this right here is not a surround. The queens are probably going to die sometimes anyway. Going to take a lot of effort though, it's not going to be might not going to be cost effective. That one queen getting fully surrounded and may actually die. There she goes. But the other queens are still going strong. There's two of them now. 
But they're killing off these lings, they're killing off the spine. They're not going to bother with the spines, they're killing off workers, they're killing off queens. And now they're going to have to die, I think. I don't think they'll be able to make it out alive. Just wasting some trying to use energy, and that queen will eventually succumb. Thing is, we're now dealing with seven workers versus 28. What, what do you do about that? What do you do against that? Especially given the number of speedlings that Harpy is throwing into the mix now. I think if those went into the, into the uh, mineral line, it don't matter what you do, you're dead. Chip, 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 chip and Dale rescue rangers. Um, and the Queen's potentially getting surrounded, the spine crawlers are not rooted! Oh, they don't get to the assigned position. John Vandar says G to the G to the G to the G. The Queen's the Queen's! Such terrible luck. And the spine crawlers getting killed by Zerglings, which give a shit. There we go. Thank you for the game, TJB. <laughs> TJB having one of his friends in chat saying, if you win this, I swear to God. But no. That was the, f the seven green, or the five queen rush. Thank you to TJB for sending that in, and we'll see you guys in the next...